Hello everyone and welcome back to Destin Learning. A powerful feature of Linux is that it supports virtualization so that you can run multiple images on one machine. In this video we're going to look at how you can set this up with KVM on Linux. Let's go ahead and get started. This guide explains how to set up KVM on a Linux system for virtualization. KVM uses the Intel VTX or AMD-V to create and manage virtual machines allowing multiple VMs on one physical host. To use KVM, ensure your CPU supports hardware virtualization by running the verification command. A non-zero result confirms support. If the result is zero, enable the proper settings in the BIOS to be able to enable this in your chipset. To use KVM, ensure your CPU supports hardware virtualization. And as, as we mentioned before, you can run this the verification command, and if not, make sure that you can try to set this up in the BIOS UFEI settings. To install KVM and necessary tools, first update your package repository. For Ubuntu and Debian and Fedora, RHEL, and CentOS, use the appropriate commands to install KVM. To verify if KVM modules are loaded, check for KVM Intel or Intel or KVM underscore AMD for AMD. LiveVirt offers a management interface for KVM. First enable and start its service, then verify that the service is running. To manage virtual machines, use sudo and add your user to the LiveVirt group. Here's an example of a NetPlan configuration. It includes network settings with version 2 and renderer as network D, Ethernet settings for interface ENS33 with DHCP4 disabled, and bridge settings for BR0 and DHCP4 enabled. To configure a network bridge for your virtual machines, first check for available interfaces, then create a bridge network. Edit the configuration file based on your operating system, and finally apply the changes. To manage VMs using Vert Manager, open the application and start creating a new virtual machine by kicking, clicking File, New, Virtual Machine. Follow the wizard to select the installation source and configure the virtual machine settings, and finally set up the network options. To create a virtual machine from the command line, you can use the vert install command. Here are some basic VM commands. List active VMs, start a virtual machine, shut down a virtual machine, and finally how to destroy a virtual machine. Enable remote access to manage VMs using a tool like vert viewer or web interfaces like cockpit. Exit via a browser at HTTP with your server IP address, followed by the port, which is by default 9090. In summary, setting up KVM on Linux is simple and it turns your system into a powerful virtualization platform. You can install KVM, configure networking, and manage VMs using a tool like Vert Manager and VIRSH. KVM's efficiency and integration with Linux make it ideal for hosting multiple operating systems, testing environments, or deploying server workloads. Well, that's all for this video. I hope it's given you a detailed view of how to get started using KVM on your Linux system. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.